question real quickly. One, um, not was there are a lot of Sukhan chutney which is pretty bad. The, the good in terms of song production, I'm talking about pure production quality. I'm telling you, no, plenty. Right? The thing is, is that you know why? There are three producers in in Soka and Ch uh, in Soka Chutney who are trained musicians. You have Marshall Montano, you have um, a little boy with KCNM, and who else? And then you have well, Colonel who learned everything through Marshall and went on course and that kind of thing. They went to the top production school in the world, right? Marshall went there for two years and one year and came back. And if you hear the difference between Marshall production skills before and after, right? Marshall also went and worked when he got the contract well. All over the world, Sweden, Germany, England, all over the place. He worked with the top 20 songwriters and producers in the world. He produced over 200 songs with them. Right? They didn't choose any of them as singles and he lose the contract. But what happened? He trained with the top 20 songwriters in the world and the top producers in the world. And you can hear the difference, the seismic difference between Marshall's music, between that. And all the stuff that you hear that is music that popping is the guys who got the training, who got, who, who went to the schools. The whole overall sound of chutney, well, soca, changed and stuff with one workshop. It was held by Dexter Simmons. Dexter Simmons is a Trinidadian who has two Grammy Awards, right? He did uh, Outcast, he produced Outcast, and he won for Michael Jackson, right? He worked with Michael Jackson, and he worked with Dexter Simmons came down here and he did one workshop with men. And he made simple things. He said, like, he said, like, everybody in Trinidad, um, what was the first thing he said? Everybody was working, was producing, believing that they had to produce from, I think it was the, the voice go back or something. Right. And he just said that. And then he showed them tricks of how to record background vocals. You could have heard the difference between the production of background vocals. In fact, that's one of the ways that one of the areas that soca music is excelling right now. The quality of the background vocals and the production of background vocals is excellent across the board simply because of one workshop those guys did with, with Dexter. Right? So the thing is, is that, yes, and then Farm has in this thing that they're going to be doing, they're going to have to try and bring in those kind of things. But the thing is, is that if we are going to say the optimum industry thing, we have to find ways to get scholarships or some kind of something to people who will be dedicated production things for a genre. So if there's a man, if somebody has to produce jazz music, somebody has to know how to get that rich intimacy in live situations, in, in bars and in smoky spaces and whatever, whatever, and reproduce that. Somebody knows, has to know how to produce um, rock music from hardcore garage trippies to men who want to go full orchestral um, zappa-ish out of their mind um, stuff and that kind of thing so we need to get those competencies that is on us right? that is on us we have to figure out ways but the only going to be organized we have to figure out among us who is the man. Because it will be one man because he ain't going to be able to afford anybody else. And that man has to come back. <laughs> because that is what happened. But it all comes down to this. What? At the end of all of this, you don't see the end of Brendan Well, exactly. Which is some other part of it. What I'm saying, what that's what I'm saying is simultaneous. No, it's simultaneous. All these battles are simultaneous battles. It's, it's just now, just now. His thing was right that there is a there is a lag in quality, but there are also enough. I, I mean, we collected one thousand more than one thousand CDs from non soca non chutney artists, right? Um, amongst those things are some of this, some of my favorite music of all time, which I would be listening to constant rotation because the production levels up there. The composition levels, the playing up there, these are perfect songs. 
There are perfect songs anywhere in the planet. If they land now, anywhere in the planet, people want to know where is that, who is that. So there is there is stuff that exists. So it is important that we know those things. We have to be honest, right? About stuff like that. The thing is, we also have to know that every single scene sounded like that at the beginning. If you heard, well, grunge. When grunge, with the grunge, the first set of music when underground music was underground music, right? In the States, right? When all during the 90s, before the major labels came in and snatched up men and converted the whole thing. I listened to some of them stuff on Techno and I was like, a big band like, um, well, I mean, by the time of Nirvana, early with things before the major label, but, um, even big bands and stuff that, yeah, I mean, I used to like wedding bass, I don't hear anything, I mean, you hear the mix real bad, and you hear poor and that kind of stuff, so the thing is, is that, we have to know that Trinidad does not have a problem with process, and we don't understand process, and that by doing this act, we set in, into motion an ecology of things that make a thing happen. And we have to fight on all fronts simultaneously. Right? I want to pass it, I have to pass it over. I want to pass it over to Shannon. Sure, fine. Um, one thing, you can always change and improve the quality of song. But if you hear it's changing, the amount of music you hear is changing. So you can always change the quality of But the argument here is whether our music is going to be on the radio. Well, it's a realistic right. argument. No, I'm not saying it's argument. Something it's something that is said. Yes. But the thing is that I'm it is enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry about that, but I just get that to be into my text. I didn't know. No, I didn't say you were wrong. I was just saying. So I just have to realize that I don't mean to offend anyone. No, no, no. I'm saying you're right. Sometimes the best thing you can do is force people to do it. He's right. Yeah, he's right. right. But at the same time, I could play 10 CDs for Brandon Camp with select music all from all those things, like singles and stuff, where everything is everything correct. Where we could sit down in a mastering studio and listen back to those things and hear, close their eyes, and a master will tell you, yeah, man, whoever, whoever did this, they got it done. And that's 10 CDs of singles, right? with a couple of 16 songs in it each, you know? That's a year's worth of rotation of music there. So what did you say? There is enough material still, even, so the thing is, is that we have to know, we have to know all these things. We have to know the pros and the cons, and we have to be able to answer them when they say whatever, you know? The same way they say, well, they don't have enough easy to listen music, and I can pull out a box and drop it at the and say, right, next. You know, and that is how we have to, but they have to, we have to pay it. We have to pay it.